Hey, I want to share something with you. Did you see the horrific story about uh, bestial brothels in Germany? Yeah, I saw that, yes. Par for the course. Okay, now, I'm going to try and be as delicate as I can. Those poor animals, do you know in the book of of Enoch, chapter 7, it talks about the fallen angels sinning against all the the beasts and the fish and everything. In other words, they were they were so uh, profane. I'll, I'll handle this delicately. And as I was pondering that day, I mean, I physically got sick. Uh, and you know, those I'm serious. Those poor animals. And instantly, I felt the Lord spoke to my heart. And people take this to the Lord in prayer. And He said, Steve, do you know why I brought the animals to the ark by twos? And instantly I understood. He said, because I was making sure there was no genetically corrupt animals that would make it through the flood. Dave, nobody has ever said that, and I have never thought that until that horrific article. Now let me share this. When you're dealing with bestiality, you're dealing with some of the most base uh, and disgusting things in history. When you're dealing in the Old Testament, when someone who would uh, engage in sexual relations with an animal, both the animal and the person would be killed. Now, why? Because of the mutagenic nature of uh, uh, the passing through of perversion in the genomes. And when people uh, have to understand this, and this is critical, if it is true that the whole world lies in the evil one, and I believe it is, as it is true that we're seeing more and more disgusting stuff, and while you don't even want to think about it, you don't even want to deal with it, it's there for you to see. It's because the occult, the world that has been hidden, the word occult means to occlude or to hide, the, that world now is coming fully into focus. And I believe God's stripping away the veneer. I think he's showing, especially America, you think you are so self-righteous. Here's what you're really like. And so now that we've got uh, uh, President Trump, in my opinion, uh, God has used him as a prosecuting attorney to show the wickedness of the world. They hated Jesus without a cause, and I'm not saying Trump is Jesus, but I am saying this. It certainly seems that when uh, President Trump takes on a biblical stand, that the, uh, if you will, the fangs of hell come out and gnash their teeth at him. Well, that happens to be true, and here's the thing. Look, the the war, the Cold War that's going on, and for the record, but what we're seeing is the even the international diplomatic and the international machinations of uh, uh, relations between countries being exposed for what they are. The EU, what a joke. How about Angela Merkel's statement that uh, Germany better get used to being Islamic? I'm sure that every single woman in Germany who's been raped or in Sweden or Norway. And here what's, here's what's interesting, Dave. As these countries undergo more brutality, more uh, bloodshed, more gore, more absolutely maddening and beyond understanding horrific events against their women, the more the women, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, the British Prime Minister, who is a woman, and Merkel, obviously of Germany, they, they seem to be absolutely neutering their own country's defenses. Now, even tonight, uh, Britain, you know, the defense minister, I think either the contemporary one or the former one, said Britain couldn't even field 6,500 men. 6,500 men. That would be pushing it. And so, so you've got all of NATO saber rattling. And I, I, you know, I used to study this stuff. I used to talk when I was on talk radio, me, my beginning about, you know, the different throw weights of different missile systems, different uh, high tech weaponry and stuff. And, and so when you get, you know, Britain saying, well, we'll use nuclear weapons, and, and somebody in Russia's uh, parliament saying, you know, you're gone in 30 minutes, and actually it's less than that. That's not rhetoric. So you've got to ask yourself this. Why would any sane person push for World War III? And can I remind all your listeners, we heard President Putin make the statement, if Hillary Clinton would have been, uh, won the presidency, it would have gone immediately to nuclear war. Do you remember that? Yes. And yeah. yet, where is it that, that the president can't open channels 
to de-stress, and, and, and this is another issue we've got to talk about tonight. The present is the sole uh, source of who can declassify information. The president can't be guilty. He's the one that can declassify anything. Yet with Hillary Clinton's 300,000-plus WikiLeaks and not one charge, and all of the possession of those who are not even cleared, whether it's Huma Abedin or her husband, the Wiener, you know, uh, or, or Schumer or anything, what you've got is you've got basically a government totally being run by the greater threat boys or girls. The greater threat boys is when a statement is made by those involved in uh, Pedigate, and let's call it what it is. I refuse to ever call that uh, relating to Italian food again, pizza. It has nothing to do with pizza. That may be an acronym, and that may be, you know, their slop talk. But at the core of it, Dave, you opened this uh, interview with me, basically, and it is. It's at the core of everything. Ball worship or bail worship is back in uh, the world's eyes. Uh, the world leaders are uh, sitting under the Arch of Baal. By the way, if you call it the Arch of Baal, that's a stargate. And all of the Baal worship always demanded one thing. You know what that was? The death of innocent children, slaughtered, burned in the arms of Moloch, you know, bled out, you know, their throats slit. And so, you know, we're, we're seeing uh, such abject paganism, hedonism, and cannibalism that I, I, I become almost incredulous. I'm glad you still have the ability to communicate because I find that I do not know how words can convey the actual state of affairs that are taking place in this country. Absolutely, and unfortunately, it's the crimson thread of the blood of the innocents you know, I think of the scripture, you know, isn't it interesting? Herod wanted to kill the firstborn, Rachel weeping for her children, for they are not. Obviously, Pharaoh was out to kill every male child, and Moses was placed in the basket. And yet, what we're seeing is we're seeing a complete, if you will, numbness and dumbness, a complete denial of what is so obvious. Yet, you know what? The, the sweet by and by crowd, it, it, you better understand, you know, that there's a bunch of people getting ready to make war. And here, here's the thing that I don't think Dave gets discussed not enough, and maybe you, could, you can write an article on it, and I'll sure help you with the research. But here's the deal. Under the former uh, uh, abominable one in the uh, slaughterhouse, the... Heads of the fusion centers were uh, obviously uh, many times uh, placed in office. Radical Muslims were seeing that the former heads of uh, the intelligence agency and the military were also of that faith and persuasion. And guess what? Christians are dying all over the world.